Moonless guards spawn inside the gauntlet, occasionally in Mahabra, and if you get the 10% chance Moonless Village event determined when you make your character, two will spawn inside the Cave Dweller Village and it will have wiped it out by the time you arrive. These things are ridiculously dangerous and are almost never worth fighting. All of their limbs have 20 hit points and go down to a single hit. Their cleaver arm works just like a normal guard's arm. Each turn it uses hack to cut off one of your limbs and deal 35 slashing damage. Their empty arm does nothing, but if you destroy both arms, their torso will start using tackle instead of gaping mouth, but only sometimes. Since they don't have a head, cutting their legs just makes the torso take 50% more damage. It's not worth the time. Their torso has 650 hit points and uses Gaping Mouth every turn. Gaping Mouth does a massive 45 piercing damage and can't be evaded. At the end of the second turn and every third turn afterwards, the torso uses Devour, a coin flip attack that hits three times for a total of 120 piercing damage. You can prevent it by guarding. It performs Devour in addition to Gaping Mouth, so the torso by itself can knock out 165 damage in a single turn. If you add in their cleaver, they hit 200 average damage in a single turn. Moonless guards get post-death attacks like normal guards, but since they can attack with their torso every turn, the only way to fight one of these without taking a ton of damage is to deal 650 damage to the torso during the on-guard round. If you cannot do that, you cannot fight them safely. If you want to fight them dangerously, the best advice I can offer is to target their cleaver on the first turn, guard the coin flip on the second turn, then deal as much damage to the torso as quickly as you can. These monsters are designed to be unfair. They exist to stop you from getting through the final area, even though you probably have a full party and can take 12 turns before they can act. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.